Pierre Soulages painted this masterful work of art in 1960 at the height of the so-called raclage or scraping period, a technique he had innovated a few years earlier. After painting a white background on a large canvas, measuring 2 meters by 1 meter 62, he swept it with black paint. The upper left half consists of a dark, dense area marked by horizontal lines that produce a contrast between smooth and rough surfaces and between matte and bright textures. In the section to the right, broad, vigorous brush strokes produce large vertical stripes that stretch downwards heavily, as if they have been weighed down by ballast. The gesture is both generous and fast. He draws a complex, airy, almost calligraphic form, which plays on the empty and solid spaces and allows light to pierce the white background. The construction is daring. By placing heavy colors at the top and lighter ones at the bottom, he creates a diagonal shape, while the vast white expanse of the lower left angle is echoed in the upper right corner and lends the whole an upward movement. While the paint was still fresh, Soulage split the thick black areas using craft spatulas with soft blades, using the power of his movements to bring out the burnt sienna earth color beneath. The pigments blend, white reflects from beneath the scraped brown color, and a whole panel of profound transparent colors emerge. This technique of disappearance-reappearance emboldens the canvas with forms that emphasize the layers upon layers. With this uncovering technique, Soulage continues the dialogue between black and color while offering us particularly subtle luminosities. This painting, which has been exhibited in major international museums, has a prestigious origin. It was purchased at the Galerie de France in 1960 by James Johnson Sweeney former curator of the MoMA and director of the Guggenheim. It remained in his family until it was sold at auction by the Tajan Auction House. <laughs>